Hi guys, welcome back to Grammy Colleen Crochets. By popular vote, we'll be doing a tutorial for a shell stitch cocoon and beanie set. I like to use a K hook, 6.5 millimeter with bulky yarn. We'll also do a little matching hat. There's a picture that a professional took and sent to me of an item I did for her. You'll also be needing a darning needle to tuck in those ends and some scissors. I'm using a bulky five. I'm doing baby bee, lots of dots in the colorway pink and gray. And it is a size five. And then I'm also going to be using soft, sleek and chunky low pill fiber from yarn bee in soft pink and it also is a size five i'm going to start with my slip knot and you can either do a magic circle or you can chain four slip stitch, whoops, in the first and then chain two. That counts as your first double crochet. Go ahead and put seven more double crochet in your circle. A tip, crochet over your tail, but don't hide it. You can pull it tight and close that circle at the end. If you'd rather do a magic circle, put those eight double crochet in your magic circle. Double crochet is yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. And what I mean by crocheting over that end is I keep it on top and out of where I'm crocheting. And I'll show you at the end what I'll do. Six. And eight. Okay, here's my tail. I'm gonna pull that tight and you can see it pulls your circle. Leave that tail out, slip stitch to join, pull tight. All right, there's our first round. We're gonna put two double crochet in each double crochet around. I crochet over my ends and then they're just really good in there when we weave them in. Well, that's going to be 16 for your second round. You can slip stitch and join if you want to, but I just work in continuous rounds. And I pull this tight and work it in as much as I need to. Now 
Now we're going to put three double crochet in the same spot as your chain two. So chain up two. Whoops. Oh, I didn't slip stitch. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there we go, Colleen. Three double crochet in that same stitch. Skip two and three double crochet in the next. One, two, one, two, one, two, Slip stitch to join. Chain two, and in that same stitch that you chain two from, you can begin that, but I drop down to this space before and then it gets a better stacked look to it. We're back around to the front. We're just putting three or our shell, three double cro crochet or our shell in each stitch around. Slip stitching, chaining two, going to that stitch or the space before. Now, you're going to put the three double crochet in that stitch before and three double crochet in that middle stitch. So two stitches from where you are. Go two over and drop down to the space. You don't have to, but I find it stacks better. Now into the center stitch of the shell from the previous row, three double crochets. And three double crochets in the next space. So you could go into this stitch. That would work fine. But what I'm saying is I like to drop down to this space in between the two shells from the stitch or from the row before. Then 
and then that middle stitch from the shell on the row before and dropping down to the space in between now to the center in the shell stitch from the space or the row before you can go here but I drop down slip stitch and get some yarn chain two this is when I go back to that space and now we're just gonna put a shell in each chain space or space between each shell So one, two, three, and there's my, that's where I put my next shell. One, two, three, and you can go into the stitch or you can go below, it's up to you. Whoops. One, two, three, so my space is there. And we're just gonna continue stacking our double crochet shells, repeating the last two rows. Whoops. So we're slip stitching, chaining up two, and doing a shell in each space between the shells. Now I'm at the uh, end of my eighth round and I'm gonna repeat that increase round. So slip stitch and join, chain up two three double crochet in the space before your first shell. Then three double crochet or a shell in the second stitch of the shell from the previous round. So it's two stitches over and here. And then two, you can go into the stitch, but like I do, drop down and put a shell in there or three double crochet. One, two. That's the middle of our shell from the previous round.
And these are little sleep sacks. Cuddlers, coziers. I used them a lot with my preemies because they liked the feeling of still being in utero, if you will. Slip stitch as normal to join and then continue with one shell stitch in each stitch between or space between each shell from the continuous row. I mean the previous row, excuse me. Grab some more yarn. <laughs> All right, if it gets a little wavy on you as long as it's not too much you're okay these are you know used to put a swaddling baby in so slip stitch to join chain up two and your shells are three double crochet that yarn got tight there Skip the next shell, three double crochet in the space between or that stitch between. You can go in here or you can go to that space. That's what I like to do. Make sure you don't skip the spaces where you increased. Those are kind of put together kind of tightly. So just make sure. Or it won't increase properly. Whoops. Okay, so I continued with my shells. Twenty seven rows. It will be thirty by the time I'm done. And then I will show you how to do the border. How are you guys doing on your length? So remember, you're gonna swaddle a newborn and you're gonna put them in this. <laughs> Maybe take some photos, 
Maybe just keep them snuggly. Okay. So I changed to the color that I want to use in my border. I just did a chain one. And I'm gonna count that as a single crochet. Then I'm gonna do a double crochet in that same stitch. Skip a stitch and the next is gonna be single crochet, double crochet. Skip a stitch, single crochet, double crochet. Skip a stitch, single crochet, double crochet, single stitch, I mean slip, skip a stitch, single crochet, double crochet, in the next. We're gonna continue around and I'll meet you at the beginning. Okay, so came back around, I'm going to slip stitch, chain one, and that's going to count as my single crochet, double crochet, skip the next, single crochet, double crochet, skip the next, single crochet, double crochet, skip the next, single crochet, double crochet. You could continue and just do um, shells for your border. I just like the texture this gives and the difference. This kind of finishes it, I guess. Skipping a stitch, single crochet, double crochet in the next. Skip the next, single crochet, double crochet in the next. This is the Suzette stitch. And it is just beautiful. <clears throat> <clears throat> I want to show you. I did do the 30 rows. Let me see if I can. So this will be the border and I'm going to do, I don't know, a good size border. And I've used three skeins of this for the shell sack and I'll use this for the hat but it is measuring without the border if I lay it flat 23 inches so that's an amazing size for a newborn. By the time I get a couple more inches on there and you don't put it over their faces, I'll be good to go. Again, it's single crochet, double crochet, skip the next stitch single crochet, double crochet, skip the next stitch, single crochet, double crochet, all the way around. This pink from the Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Chunky matches the lots of dots, Baby Bee, perfectly to me. 
All right, I'm gonna continue with my border and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I think it's like an inch. Oop. Oh, about two inches. I'll just slip stitch. And I will sew those in. So here is our sack. Now we're going to start the hat. I'm going to use the same size hook. And I'll be starting with the lots of dots again. So you're going to want to put a stitch knot on your hook. You can either put eight double crochet into a magic circle, or you can chain four, slip stitch, chain two, and then seven double crochet in the circle. I keep my tail so that I can pull it tight. And when I slip stitch, I can make sure that that circle is as tight as if I did a magic circle. All right, chain two. Two double crochet in the same stitch. That makes your first shell. Skip one, three double crochet in the next. Skip one, three double crochet in the next. Skip one, Skip one, whoops, and slip stitch in that top of your chain two. Chain two for the height. two double crochet in the same stitch as your chain two and that counts as your first shell. Skip one. Three double crochet or a cluster. Skip one. You're just gonna continue Skip one, three double crochet in the next, that forms your shell. see where this kind of goes over both of those well that's because it's a chain we're still going to want to take advantage of that space 
and put another shell in there. There we go. And slip stitch and that the top of chain two. Chain two for the height and two more double crochet in the same stitch. Skip one. Three double crochet in the next, which forms your shell. Skip one, three double crochet in the next. Skip one, three double crochet or a shell in the next. Skip one. Skip one. Skip one and three double crochets in the next. Skip one, three double crochets in the next. I chained one and I did not mean to. <laughs> Skip one. Skip one, skip, three double crochet, which forms your shell. and then slip stitch to join. Chain up two, two double crochet in the same stitch. I'm not gonna increase any more because as you can tell, with the size of the yarn and hook, this is going to stretch out and be newborn size. Okay, this is the last part of row or round 11 and I'm slip stitching. And I will finish that off. <coughs> Excuse me. Do a slip stitch if you're changing uh, your yarn. Single crochet, double crochet in the first stitch. Skip the next. Single crochet. Double crochet in the next. Skip the next. Skip the next. Whoops. Single crochet. Double crochet. And the next. Skip. Single crochet. Double crochet in the next. Single crochet, double crochet in the next. Skip the next stitch, single crochet, double crochet in the next. This is the Suzette.
stitch, like I said before. And I just really like the textured look of it for a border, especially when I'm using a different color. It just makes it pop. And it's nice and soft and uh, less airy. Skip and then single crochet, double crochet, skip the next, single crochet, double crochet, skip the next, single crochet, double crochet, skip the next. <clears throat> Excuse me, skip the next, single crochet. double crochet skip the next and then you're just gonna slip stitch it <laughs> that's gonna you're gonna chain one and that's gonna count as your single crochet double crochet in the same skip one Skip, single crochet, double crochet in the next, skip, single crochet, double crochet, skip, single crochet, double crochet in the next. We're just going to repeat this and I'll be back to show you how to join it and finish it off. Okay, so I've crocheted around and I'm going to slip stitch and finish that off. If you want to put a pom-pom on it, go for it. If you want to put an applique on it, go for it. Anything you want to do. I will be doing more tutorials showing you different things. Um, I still need to tuck in these ends and I will do a little short showing of all this, but here is our cuddle sack. And hat, stacked shells with our Suzette stitch borders. If you guys have any questions or concerns, as always, please call me or email me at grammycoleencrochets at gmail.com. Thank you. Happy hooking.